All right. What we're going to do now is take a little bit about what we learned in the last video where we talked about how transistors represent one or zero. Each transistor represents one or zero. And by putting them all together, we can represent a binary number. Um, and, and what we looked at was, um, and we're starting this discussion with something called unsigned binary. Unsigned binary basically means we are using transistors to represent values from zero up to some, ma some, some value. And that's based on the number of transistors that we've got assigned to represent this particular value. Um, and, and there's a pretty easy way to convert it. We talked a little bit before about how if you've got, for example, 10 digits, the highest value we can represent with this 10 bits is, well, this was the two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three, two to the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the two to the ninth position, 512. And remember, if we added up all those powers of two, we came up with 10, uh, 1,023. The next digit, if I had an 11th figure, finger over here, would have been the two to the 10th position or 1024. So for n bits, what we can represent is two to the n minus one. This is if we have n an n bit binary value. And so I can tell you eight bits, that's typically what we're going to represent things in the in, in this class. Um, that would be two to the eighth minus one, two to the eighth is 256, minus one, 255. So most values are going to be represented with, uh, if we, anything uh, that is eight bits, can represent up to 255. Now, I'm gonna make this little rectangle. And what we've got is the individual, each one of these boxes contains a one or a zero based on what the transistor contains, right? And if we had had this ninth bit, this would have been the two to the eighth position or 256. So this position right here is the two to the zero or one. And we have two to the one, two, two to the two, four, two to the three, eight, two to the four, sixteenth, two to the five, thirty-two, two to the um, sixth, which is sixty-four, and two to the seventh, which is 128. So this, we can represent values up to 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 or 255 all right in fact let's go ahead and put a light and put um, a, a pattern of ones and zeros in here now uh, I don't know how about uh, 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 all right now I've heard this described in a number of places, but Bill Gates in The Road Ahead talks about how he, ta how he describes binary to somebody who's not familiar with computers. He says, imagine that you've got eight light bulbs here. One is 128 watts, then we have a 64 watt, 32 watt, 16 watt, 8 watt, 4 watt, 2 watt, 1 watt. What is the total wattage when we turn on a specific pattern of light bulbs here? Well, in this case, what we've got is 64 watt is on, 32 watt is on, 8 watt is on, 1 watt is on. So we've got a total that we can represent with this guy of 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 1. Add all those, oops, sorry, not 128. I was getting ahead of myself, wasn't I? All right, so, sorry, we have 32 plus 64 plus 8 plus 1. All right. 32 plus 64, 96, plus 804, plus 105. Now, we count in base 10. And so whenever I represent a base 10 number up here, I'm going to put this little subscript 10 there in order to indicate that we are talking base 10. For example, if I put the value 100 up here on the board, 100, zero, zero, well, is that a base 10 or is that a binary value? Um, I need to put that subscript up there so that you understand whether we're talking about base 10 or base 2 or base 16 or base 8 or any of the other bases that were out there. So this number right here, this 01101001 base 2 is equal to 105 
base 10. All right. Now, it's pretty easy to go from the binary to the decimal, right? What about going the other way? What if I have something other than a squeaky pen? What if I've got eight transistors? that I want to represent a value in. Now remember these transistor positions are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. All right. Now, what if I want to represent the number 143 base 10? The very first thing to do is to double check and make sure that the bits that we're allotted are enough to represent that number. Are they? Well, remember with eight bits, this position right here was the 256 position. All right, is this number less than 256? It is. So that means that we can represent 143 in those eight bits. Now, how do we do it? Well, the way we do it is, and there's another, there are a couple of tricks, but what we're gonna look at right now with this particular video is you take out the largest power of two you can from this guy and have it still remain positive, right? So what is the largest power of two that is less than or equal to 143? Well, it turns out it's 128. So we pull out 128. Pulling out 128, we get 15. So we turn on the 128 light bulb, and we've got 15 watts left to figure out how to represent. 64, too big. There's a zero. 32, still too big. Zero. 16, close, still bigger. So we put a zero there. Eight is the next highest power of two we can pull out of 15. So we pull out the eight, we're left with seven. Now that we have, now that we've pulled out the eight, oh, and turned on the light bulb, of course, what's the next largest power of two we can pull out? Turns out it's four. So we pull out the four, we get three. Turn on the four light bulb. Two is the next largest power of two we can pull out. We pull out a two, we're left with one. Turn on the one light bulb, you pull out the one, and now we've got zero. Now, the key here is that we have to end up with zero. No digits left, no value, no magnitude left. If you get to this point, if you've gone through all of your bits, and you don't end up with zero, one of two things has happened. Either the first thing is, is you didn't do the check to make sure that the value we are trying to convert is less than the value the, uh, less than or equal to the value that we can represent with a given number of bits. And remember, we can use this expression up here, the two to the n minus one in order to determine that. The second thing is, is that if we don't end up with zero down here is maybe there was a mathematical error. Maybe we did the subtraction wrong. If we did the subtraction wrong, that's a pretty easy fix, right? Just redo the subtraction. So what we've got is 143 base 10 is equal to that pattern of ones and zeros. One, zero, 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 one, 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 base two. Now, the key is, is this is just one way of representing a decimal number in binary. This is once again referred to as unsigned binary. We will talk about signs later on, but right now, positive, you know, non-negative values are what we're looking at representing here.